Yeah, hi guys. So yeah, just doing a bit of a look into the word hate. And it's, um, you would have heard the thing there, if you don't hate your mum, you can't be my disciple. Along those lines. So uh, I'll just leave, if I remember, the link down to this Strongest Concordance. So you can even type numbers in here if you see numbers around a lot that keep appearing. You can type that in here and it'll give you some info. Uh, Strong's search will do Greek and Hebrew search. So yeah, if you type hate into there, you come up with miso, mis, mis, um to hate, to test, to love less, esteem less. All right, and that says here, if anyone comes to me and does not hate, says me so, love less than the Lord, his own father and mother and wife and children. So there you go. So love less than, than the Lord. So that's that makes it a, a lot easier to understand, yeah, if you don't hate your, your mother or father and all that. Um, <clears throat> no, the comparative meaning of Misa, which centers on moral choice, elevating one value above another. So that, that's the hate there. So, um, interestingly, if you have a look in uh, hate, there's two types of hate. There's this one, you got Psalms, um, which they hate. Uh, this is the old, he this is Hebrew. <clears throat> Which which they they don't seem to match up with the the new the Greek way of seeing it. So this one is hate is like persecute. So we got we got uh, this eighty one here to hate. Um, so to hate personally, enemy foe, be hateful. So just an enemy, just someone you, you don't like to test and then you've got this other one to hate oppose oneself to bear a grudge uh, to lurk to persecute so you're actively um, doing something about your hate so those would be the two different hates there um, and then you got here in um, uh, in the New Testament so it's mostly just this one to hate to love less than God um, but I did notice something you've got um, <clears throat> um, if any man comes to me and does not hate um, his father and mother and all that is um, in Luke and it's also in Matthew but there's no mark <laughs> so that's very interesting um, it's not in Mark so yeah, there's something there and this is right in the center it says we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all those that hate us alright so it's already said that we should be saved from our enemies alright so enemies would be ones that hate you and from the hand of all those that hate us so this one here would be people that love us less than God so that would say they love God these people <clears throat> and this is in Luke so this is talking about the bride I would say if anyone has any thoughts on that alright God bless guys